So hello and welcome to SBC SB Cinema. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a scary Halloween spider out of spray foam. So let's use up the leftovers with a spider. Spiders to have a big body, just like this. And then they got legs over oh, the head. Okay, so far the body of the spider. And then you gotta have legs. Oh, this looks terrible right now. Maybe it's a frog. Yeah, maybe it's a frog. That's about it with, the, with this can here. Yep, can is empty. So far so good, but now we get to the interesting part. You see me mold this spider here in shape and this is only possible because I have sprayed this foam with water, which helps it to cure faster. And also, as the water is first touching the outside of it, it helps it to form a skin after about 5 to 6 minutes. Then you can still squeeze it and pinch it and bring it in form, help it to get its shape, but it is still soft in the inside. Some foams work better than others, this is a very cheap one. But you see, it works. I can actually squeeze it here together to get a spider leg shape. And well, if you touch it and it still sticks to your fingers, it's not ready yet. Then you wait a bit, spray a bit more water. Water doesn't harm it, water does help it. Also, normally this, well, this takes overnight to cure with water. It's in a few minutes done, <laughs> so it works as an accelerator. <laughs> yeah, and you see, it now looks more like a spider than like a runaway frog, <laughs> or perhaps like a giant tick. Well, yeah, that's also scary. <laughs> and so now we go to the next step. So, let's carefully separate it. <laughs> and there she is, oh, spray from spider. <laughs> yeah, now she just needs a spider web. And of course, uh, painting. Painting makes it better. But yeah, looks like a spider from a distance, but yeah, cost-wise this is about one buck. And I used the rest of the can so I had a bit of, <laughs> I got a crippled leg here, pure little spider. Now I'm squishing in the bottom of it, just to later have a bit of a Dirty spider. Just a bit. It's not necessary. Just, you know, in case. Next step painting. So.
perfect. What a mess. So, the next day, I'm having here these gemstone pieces and I picked out two purple ones. And now we are just going to hot glue them onto our spider. And I see here, squeezing in the bottom was a bit of a mistake, I did it too early and uh, too late, so, and so yeah, I deflated a bit. But still, <laughs> it's a great use for some leftover spray foam and don't forget to do this in a very well ventilated area because this spray foam emits cyanide gas. It's no problem if you're outside, but don't do it in your living room or something. <laughs> Just a bit more hot glue here. There we go. A creepy Halloween spider and the red highlight really brings it to life. <laughs> yeah, let's hang it on the wall. Cute. <laughs> yeah, I really like how it turned out. The red, the black with the purple eyes. Really classic Halloween. And of course you could do a better job with a fresh spray can and a bit of time. <laughs> but the technique of spraying it with water and then molding it is really great. And now, some outtakes. Clean your spray cans. 